Hi, everybody. My name is Brittany, and welcome to Sneak Peek. Here at Sneak Peek, we take a five-minute look into new products that have won product of the day on Product Hunt. This is actually the sister episode to the real debut for March 10th, 2023. And we are going to be looking at AI Detector by Content at Scale. Let's go right ahead and visit their site. This is actually the main landing page that it takes you to. And one of the nice things about what Content at Scale did here is they put a sandbox right on the landing page. Usually in these sneak peeks, I look for a way to get a free trial, to log in, and that's actually not quite necessary with their tool here today. It does look like there are ways to get expansions on this, especially if you're looking to build an API to use their AI content detector. But for today's sneak peek, I actually thought we would use AI to get a sense of if it can actually check whether it is a human or AI developing the content. So prior to this video, I went to handy dandy chat GPT and asked me, asked it to write an essay about the rise of AI. So this is all completely written by chat GPT and let's copy and paste it, bring it back over and just see what it thinks about the AI content. So we know that this is obviously 100% been written by AI. And it looks like it did a really great job. So it says it's highly likely to be AI generated. I really like that it gives me a breakdown of predictability, probability, and pattern. So those are going to be the three things it sounds like they're looking for most when making this detection. And over on the right-hand side, you can actually scroll down and see examples of where it saw the most problematic behavior. So I would say from a first go, this is a great look at it. I'm going to pause and grab another example. All right, for our next test, I went back to ChatGPT and simply asked the question, can you make that essay sound as if it was really written by a human and not AI? So I really didn't add too much to this, but let's go back to our content detector. Our first try got us 19% score. Let's try this new version of the essay. Okay. So by simply asking if you could make it sound more human, ChatGPT brought us from a 19% over to a 47% uh, on their score chart. So now it says that it's really unclear whether it's AI or human. This is the type of response I would actually expect if I had edited the essay in any way, but I did not. Um, I obviously just copied and pasted it. So let's try another example. All right, for the next test, I went back to ChatGPT and this time asked it to write that same essay, but as if it were an editorial written by a concerned citizen for a newspaper. So in this case, I'm still using AI entirely. I am not editing this whatsoever. However, what I am doing is giving it more tone to consider. Let's see what happens when I go back to the AI content director, detector, excuse me, and give this one a try. There we go. Okay, so actually this version is worse than the one where we just said to try to make it sound more human. So at this point, all of the prompts I've done have been coming straight from AI. We it did the first one absolutely correctly, absolutely noted it was from AI, and this one was absolutely correct too. The one where I asked it to be more human, it showed it wasn't quite sure. So let's see what happens if I actually put in an article that is fully developed by a person. I found this article on uh, upfrontscholastic.com about the rise of AI, and it's written by Christine Grease. If I went ahead and just simply copied her editorial, let's see. Let's see if it can detect the fact that this was actually written by a person.
fantastic. It did. I would say overall, this is a pretty great engine. Um, it's interesting because when we played around with this during the real debut, we were a little less sure of how accurate it was, showing a lot more of what we found to be unsure whether it was human or artificial intelligence. But in these examples with a bit beefier examples, we saw some really great results. And maybe that's the key here. Maybe it's the key of their ability to make these determinations is based on the length of what we're putting in. This has been a quick sneak peek at the AI detection by content scale. If you are working in AI, I would certainly give this a try and try to make a determination on if this is going to help you. Thanks for tuning in, folks. 